Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Triplets and this will be Raspberry Pi quick tip number 2. So, a few days ago, if I'm not mistaken, uh, exactly 3 days ago from now, so we are the 20th. So on the 17th of August, Raspbian Stretch was released. So Raspbian Stretch is the latest um, well, release of the Raspbian uh, distro, which is, uh, the, in my opinion, one of the best uh, default uh, OSs of... Um, of, for the Raspberry Pi. So most of my Raspberries are running on Raspbian. I have a few running on OSMC, but I think below the surface they may have a lot of common, uh, a lot in common with um, Raspbian. But this one is still res running on Jesse, um, which I have been running for I think the past two or three years now without any problems. Uh, before that there was Wheezy. Which a lot of the standard images you find around uh, for certain things are still running on Wheezy because there was, uh, from what I understood, a lot of issues with porting some libraries to Jesse. Um, however, it could be the same now with Stretch. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think anyone is sure at this point. Um, so before you do this upgrade, make sure that you have a full image backup or at least a backup in a way that you can restore easily or revert easily back to your original one. So. It may break, it may not break, I don't know. I'm even going to try it right now for myself. This is my Home Assistant and Pi-hole and Mopedi uh, Raspberry Pi. I have a full image backup, so we should be safe. But let's get going. So I'm running this in a TMAX session for the simple reason that it's possible that I may have to shut down uh, my, Raspberry, uh, my, my SSH session right now and I don't want to lose any progress. But let's get going. So the first thing you need to do you need to do, I'm sorry, um, is make changes to the files uh, that tell Raspberry Pi um, where to get the information. So here you see Jesse, and basically you have to change this Jesse to stretch, written like this, so S-T-R-E-T-C-H, uh, you save again with Ctrl O and C, uh, uh, Ctrl X, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so let's just verify that, that stretch. Um, you do the same for um, the file etc out sources.list.t slash raspy list. You do the exact same thing here. And actually, we're already ready to go. So at this point, you do sudo apt-get update. What this will do is get all the packages that are now available for Stretch, or at least have a newer version. It will get them. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little bit scared about that. Here in Mopedi, it's still connecting to the Jesse ones. So I may... Um, I'm actually not sure what will happen. So it's possible that I will have to make some changes to this as well. And that um, my Mopedi will break. Um, Pi-hole and... Um, well, at least Home Assistant is running in Python, so it should be fine there. I do know, however, that um, Python uh, 3.5 is also out. I don't think it will come uh, as default with this. I'm not sure again. I will also test it after. But, um, well, this will take a while uh, to update everything, especially since my speed is so low. I have no idea why this is, uh, maybe just because it's a bunch of small packages. But, um, well, let's uh, wait for this to finish, and I'll see you when, well, when the get update is. Uh, unless it's finished here. Like, well, actually, it is finished. Uh, so now, let's go to the heavy duty one. sudo apt get why to say just run through everything without asking for permission um, and if you do this there's no turning back so the moment I, you press enter here you're basically moving to stretch um, I think this will take a while uh, because to upgrade yeah, as you can see 519 packages 166 will be newly installed um, so I'm going to let this run for a while now um, and let's see what happens. I see you guys in... Uh, I honestly don't know how long. Be right back.
Okay, so at a certain point, it is possible that you come to the following screen, which is basically just a uh, well, page with information. Um, the only way to go through this is to hold space. You go completely through it, and then press Q. And it will continue. Okay, so on this screen, I suggest you take yes. Um, I think it doesn't matter anyway because we are going to restart our Raspberry Pi after this anyway. So let's just do the best thing and uh, let's restart them. Okay guys, so um, the setup is finished. I think it took about 50 minutes uh, in my case. It may take longer or less long uh, depending on well, a lot of parameters, what the, what the current load is on your Pi and so on. Um, but anyway, it's uh, it's finished right now. I honestly have no idea if, um, if everything will still be stable because I saw, well, during the, the upgrade it asked me a few times if I wanted to keep a certain config file or uh, revert it back to the default. Uh, I know two of those I changed manually, so I made it uh, revert back to the uh, default one. These are two config files um, that I changed and I know what I changed there. So I'm going to, well, I upgraded them um, to the new version, but I'm going to put uh, my config back in the old one. Uh, the first one is to get a static IP address and the second one is um, my pie hole that's running on here, um, I want to be able to have um, the, the the web page display in a in an iframe, so that's why I have to make changes there. But that, that's not really uh, relevant for that. But just try to figure out why um, certain files may have been changed. There are two other files that I honestly have no idea why they were changed. I also revert them revert them back to the default. I hope everything will be fine. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, Again, make sure you made a backup before doing this because it could go wrong right here. Um, anyway, uh, to check if you have actually upgraded successfully, um, you can type, um, sorry, uh, no, I'm exactly right, etc os release. And here it says stretch. So we're now on the uh, Raspbian, Raspbian stretch, uh, which is version 9. Um, so that's very good. Um, let's try rebooting the Pi. Um, if this works and everything starts at four, you're fairly certain everything still works. Um, but let's just check. Um, I'm going to make the change to my config files first because I want my IP back as it was. Um, but you can just type sudo reboot now here and uh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see on my screen, I am able to reconnect to my Raspberry Pi. However, the services that I'm running on there are not um, working anymore. Uh, at least not by default. It's possible some of them are working. That's not quite sure. Um, so, well, while um, everything seems to be working for just the upgrade, it's very important that you ensure that all your services will still be working. So, again, take a backup before you start. Um, I'm going to revert back now to Jesse, well, play a little bit around, I'm going to try to reinstall the service that I am or was running. However, um, I guess I'm going to revert, but at least you now know, um, again with um, uh, this, that you are running on stretch, um, which is the main uh, point of this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe with the backups. See you again in the next one. Bye.